said, we simply said, today on the show we're going to make a kettle of soup. It's going to be chicken sausage, couscous, and kale soup. So let me show you what I've done so far. Now in my kettle, let me see if I can get you up. In my kettle, I have put olive oil and my ground Italian chicken sausage was very lean. So I'll put olive oil down in here. Um, about three tablespoons. And we've cooked all the chicken sausage up till it's no longer pink. And I broke it up like this with my little tool. I know you're all wondering what that it is. It's not Tupperware, it's paper chip. But just break it up. Get it all done. Now what we're going to do in here is we're going to put in some onion and garlic. So we're going to use our Power Chef chopper, the large chopper. We got an onion, large onion, some cloves and we're going to whirl it around and chop it. How fine or chunky you want it to do. Now we're going to put all that in here. I'm trying to do the best I can. Okay. Get me Get all the simminess out. I might have to add a little bit more. Let me look at it. You might have to add a little bit more olive oil. You want at least a little bit for the onions to cook, cook off in here. Okay. I'm getting here to scrape up all them brown tidbits. You want them. Start scraping it up. I believe they call it the farm. On the bottom, I'm not sure. The technical name for it. And I found a metal spoon or a good wooden spoon works. So I'm getting some of this brown stuff up. Can you see all the brown bits? That's what we're trying to get. for a minute or two. Then we're going to put our carrots in here. Now don't worry about the recipe. I'm going to have it on a separate, I'm um, written out, right under the video. Carrots. You can put you some celery in here if you want to. We're going to put in some tomatoes. We're going to put in some kale. This is what you want pre-washed. So, some of these big pieces, I just want to come in here and... Now, if the stems are all big, strip them from the stems. Alright. Like that. You don't want that other. So, let's kind of take that... Piece out. Kind of look in here. So, they're going to shrink, but that's what they did. That does like spinach does. Oh, here's another long piece. You could do spinach if you don't like kale, or leave the greens out. Whatever. Now we're going to come with some chicken broth. I gotta put lots in there. So we get some more. Now 
And then we're going to bring this up to a boil. Because we need to put our couscous in there and it has to boil. Bring it up to a boil before we can put the couscous in. But then we're going to also put our seasoning in. Let me get some water in here. That was, that was all my bullion. That was down in this bowl. Or some warm water kind of getting it dissolved. But I knew I needed more water. A little bit more. So let's stir it around. We've got it up on high now, getting ready for it to come to a boil. Because we're going to cook our carrots and cook our onions and our kale. It's all going to shrink. So let that come up to a boil. While it's doing that, we're going to put our seasoning in. We're going to put some. Italian seasoning. And then we're going to put some garlic powder. And then I need to put some onion powder and then salt and pepper that's the seasons that I'm using I tasted my bra so I know that it needs salt salt desperately mine was the bullion with um, no added salt and pepper You want to put some red pepper flakes? That'd be good in here. Give it a little bit of spice. You could do chopped up celery. Um, I'm thinking about chopping some zucchini up in here. And put it up in here too. Let me get me some zucchini up. I think maybe that'd be good. We're just playing in the kitchen today. No biggie. Broccoli, whatever you want to use. I'm going to chop up two big zucchini like this. Let's put some celery in there too, why not? <coughs> so I'm going to stick it full of veggies today. And then of course, if you don't want chicken sausage, do pork Italian sausage leave the meat out if you just want to do a big old veggie and then change your chicken broth to veg vegetable broth well that looks pretty good right now and then since this boils starts boiling we're going to also put our other veggies in and then put our um, couscous in. Your whole pearl couscous. Now, um, you follow the back of the package of your couscous, what it says. A lot of them are different. It says bring it up to a boil, 
put it in, turn it down to a simmer, about five to seven minutes in, the, in my package, then it says it's done. Looks good to me. You don't have to keep poking at it. Zucchini. Oop, there it goes on the hot tub. Oh, this is going to be good tonight. It's in the 60s, but the sun is shining today. But that wind, ooh, is super chilly. So I thought today would be a good day for soup. all done now remember this is the steps you do you're bringing it up to a boil put all your veggies you want in here <clears throat> add your couscous when it's up to a boil all your broth read the back of the package says what it cook it as what it says mine says turn it down the simmer after it gets to boiling for five to seven minutes covered so i'll see you next video Oh, when the soup's done, because there's a cute little garnish I want to do.